we will now discuss about electric field it is the field or space where if we place a charge in that field it will experience a force so electric field is simply the area or space where if we place a charge it will experience a force so what is the relationship between voltage and electric field so the electric field which is a vector e is equal to minus dv by dx that is the space gradient of voltage or potential is the electric field now what is the unit of electric field the unit of voltage is volt or electric potential difference is volt and that of distance is meter so the unit of electric field is volt per meter so in these lectures we will be using volt per centimeter as a preferable unit because we will be dealing with dimensions which are really small compared to meter and now take a look at how can we calculate this space gradient of voltage so for that we will consider an example say let's say we have some material like this let's say we are going to apply 100 volts across it and let assume that this distance or the length of the material is 5 cm okay and for convenience we will take this reference point reference direction as along this direction and let's say it is a positive x direction this point will assume it as zero that is origin and so this point will be at 5 cm according to our convention okay. now we have defined the direction we will be looking at the electric field along the positive x direction right now we can say that the potential here is 100 volt and here we assume it to be at ground potential that is zero volts so we can say that v1 is 100 volts and here we have v2 equal to 0 volts we can say that x1 equal to 0 here and x2 equal to 5 centimeter so now we can calculate the electric field e is equal to minus dv by dx okay that is the space rate of change of voltage and we can calculate it as minus of say v2 we know that how we de define a derivative we assume that this material is uniform and we can write it as v2 minus v1 by x2 minus x1 so that is equal to minus of we have 100 so v2 is 0 minus v1 which is 100 so v2 is 0 we have v1 which is 100 divided by x2 that is 5 centimeter minus x1 which is 0 so that is equal to 100 by 5 is 20 and minus 100 by 5 is minus 20 and these two minus will cancel and we will get 20 volt per centimeter so we can say that an electric field of 20 volt per centimeter exists along this direction so we have seen how to calculate electric field if you have potential at different points and we assume that the material to be uniform now we have electric field in this direction so what happens if we have some positive charges in this material let's say we have some positive free charge carriers which are ready to move we know that these positive charges will be repelled from this positive terminal as we know that like charges repel these positive charges will move in this direction that means the positive charges the important point to note here is positive charges move in the direction of electric field okay so these positive charges will move in this direction now suppose if we had some negative charges here and they are free to move then what happens these negative charges will be either attracted to this positive terminal will be attracted to this positive terminal or we can say that it is repelled by this negative terminal so obviously the negative charges tend to move in the direction opposite to so we can say that negative charges move opposite to the direction of electric field these two are really important and you must remember it that means 
positive charges tend to move in the direction of electric field and negative charges tend to move in the direction opposite to that of electric field. So these are the important points you need to remember when you are dealing with solid state. So let's quickly revisit these points. That means electric field is the area or space where if you place a charge, it will experience a force. Now electric field is given as the space gradient of voltage. We talked about time gradient. Now we talk about space gradient because here we are taking the derivative with respect to space. Okay, we have space gradient. Now we have seen how when we apply an voltage, it sets up an electric field and charges move in electric field. If there are free charges in the material, it can move in the electric field. It can be moved due to the electric field because charges in an electric field will experience a force and when charges are in motion, it will cause current to flow. We will see revisit these concepts in the summary.